Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This video I will show you the divisibility test of 7. 7 is very useful number. It's 7 days a week. So that's why very useful. Okay, for small number, for example, two digit number, we can use multiplication timetable to test it. For example, 14 or 28 or 42 or 56. Or, all this is divided by 7 because multiplication timetable, right? If you have three digit number, for example, for three digit, you have 245 to see if it's divided by 7. So I introduce one method is you double the ones digit, double the last digit, double the ones digit, double means multiply by two. This is got ten. You subtract the ten from the number formed by rest of the digit. You got fourteen, and then you know once you got. The number is multiple of 7, so you see 14 is divided by 7. That's why this one is divided by 7. Uh, it's divisible, so 245 is divided by 7. It's divisible. Second example, if I have a four-digit number, for example, let's say 1849 is the first question. First answer, this is second. 1849 is divided by 7. We're still using this method. Double the ones digit, multiply by 2, equals this one, equals 18. And subtract 18 from the, the number formed by rest of digit, minus 18. We got 6, 5, 1. And this is 6. Yeah, 6, 166. They keep this process and uh, double the last digit, double the ones digit, you got the 12, and subtract 12 from the number formed by la the rest of digit, 12. You got the 4. Obviously, this number is not divided by 4, right? Or uh, divided by 7. So we can use calculate to prove it. So this one is 1849. So you have 1849 divided by 7. See, this one, you got a decimal, right? Decimal, so it's not divided by 7. So another example, we see if it's 2436, to see if it divided by 7, it's not. So double the last digit by multiply by 2, 12. And subtract from the number formed by rest of digit. This is 2, 31. And double the last digit, you got 2. Subtract the, the number formed by last uh, the rest of digit. This is 21. See, 21 is divided by 7. Once you got the number is multiple of 7, you can stop, right? So this one is okay, this one is divisible. Okay, this is the 3 digit or 4 digit. If you have more than 4 digit or 5 digit, so that situation, you still can use this way and uh, multiply by 2 for 1 digit and uh, subtract this result by the number formed by rest of digit, but it takes many steps. So let's say if I have a uh, six digit, so if you have six digit number, say this number is 349,335. When you have six digit, I introduce you another method. This method is Use the number formed by last three digit, 335. Subtract from the number formed by rest of digit. 
So you this number formed by last three digit subtract from the rest of digit rest of digit from the other number. Three forty nine minus three thirty five. You got the four, you got the fourteen. Once you got the fourteen, this is divided by seven, right? This is divided by seven. So divided by seven, this one. So this number is divided by seven. See? This is another method. If you have six digit, even you have five digits still working. And this is a very easy way to do. See again, you use the last three digit form a number subtracted from the rest of the digit. Maybe the first three digits is small, so which one is bigger is subtract. Actually you find the difference from two numbers. These two numbers, one number formed by last three digit, the other number formed by the rest of digit. So and the other question I can show you for example we have another uh, number for six digit three digit so if I have this number six twenty five six twenty five those numbers six twenty five six twenty five because from this row we subtract the last three digits to form a number by the other one so this situation six twenty five Subtract to 25, you got the 0. As long as you got the 0, or you got the multiple of 7, it works. So this is divisible by 7. This is divisible by 7. Divisible by 7, we can use calculate to prove it. 625, 625. 625, 625. Divided by 7 equals. See? You got the whole number. Whole number. Right? And so let's say from this pattern you see okay any number any digit as long as the last three digit same with first three digit correspondingly for example you have let's say any number is it eight zero one eight zero one right this number also divided by seven because 801 minus 801 you call it 0, right? So also we can use calculate to prove it. 801 minus 801 equals oh no, it's <laughs> not minus, sorry. It's 801 801 divided by 7 equals, see? It's divisible, right? So from this pattern, you can see if you have six digits all identical. Let's say eight, 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 eight. Is this number still divided by seven? Yes. Divided by seven. And this is divided by seven. So you can see you have eight, 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 eight. See, divided by seven. You got this, and also you see if you have nine, 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 six digit, all nine divided by seven. It divided fourteen twenty eight fifty seven, which we introduced before talking repeating decimal. That's why you say. You call fourteen twenty eight fifty seven because one over seven is repeating decimal is zero point one four twenty eight fifty seven repeating. That's why we can express as you have one two three four five six repeating means you have six six nine. Six nine on the bottom. The top is one four two eight five seven. And this one is convert one convert this one to simplify. You got this. 
And also, next I will sh show you the other method. This method is the combination of first method, second method, and then the other is uh, the common sense method. So, for example, we have this question. For example, to see 6210379. This is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 digit number. If you only use the first method, double the last digit, subtract from the number formed by rest of digit, it takes time, it takes time. It's very slow, right? And if you, even you use, find the difference with the three digit, last three digit, and from the number formed by rest of digit, it still takes time. The one thing I think we need to think about the multiple seven. If the number, this is a divided by seven means it's multiple of seven. That's why I subtract the first step. I subtract the number is multiple of seven, but very close to this number. So very close to this number, first digit 56, because seven times eight is 56. So all this is zeros. The first step, I do this. The first step, step one, I do this one. This is very fast because all this is zero. So nine, seven, three, zero, one. And this is a six. So you subtract one, six, and five, six, and five, zero, this number. You got it because this is a multiple of seven, right? So if divisible, this is still multiple of seven. Then this situation you have three, one, two, three, four, five, six digits. We can use the second method, which is subtract these three digit from a number three seventy nine. You got the one. This is three, and this is two. See, you got two thirty one. Then you use the first method double the one digit two subtract two. You got 21, and this is 21 is multiple of 7. We know it divided by 7. That's why from this one you can see, we, we can use the combination method. All this is working. It's not saying we have to stick one method, right? So that's why learn more method is very useful. And you can use the combination. This is, yeah, and this is, again, this is a step 1, this is step 2. And this is step three, right? This is step three. So, the three combine three different method combination. So, this is presented by Wise Guy. Thank you.